Hello everyone, welcome to Zoho Sheets webinar. This is Jaya Shankari, I'm the product marketer for Zoho Sheet and I'll be the host for today's session. So in today's webinar, we'll be looking at ways in which you can clean your spreadsheet data using the smart data cleaning tool in Zoho Sheet. So let's get started. This is the agenda for this session. First, we'll look into a brief introduction about Zoho Sheet, the product itself. And then we'll look into the new features that were introduced as a part of the latest version of Zoho Sheet called Sheet 5. Then we'll move on to the topic of this session that is data cleaning. We'll look into why you should clean your data, how you can do that using the data cleaning tool in Zoho Sheet. So why Zoho Sheet? Zoho Sheet is an online spreadsheet application that gives you a perfect blend of analytic and collaborative features. By analytic, I mean Zoho Sheet gives you more than 350 functions by default, charts, pivot tables, pivot chart, etc. And by collaboration, Zoho Sheet gives you the ability to work in real time with your team, to make range level comments, add mention your colleagues, and also to view change log based on the date, user, etc. And it provides you with all these basic and advanced features free of cost without any limitations. And all your files are stored on the cloud so you can access them using any device and work across devices instead of being bound to a single hardware. And finally, Zoho Sheet also provides you with iOS and Android applications so you can work on the go using your smartphones. Talking about mobile applications, we are working on a feature called Data from Picture that helps you scan a printed tabular data and convert it into spreadsheet data in a matter of seconds. So we'll look into that feature in one of our future sessions. Now let's move on. So what's new in Sheet 5? As I mentioned, we had released or launched the new or latest version of Soho Sheet early in 2019, early this year. So uh, as a part of this release, we had some major changes and major features coming out and let's see what they are. First up is an AI-powered analytical assistant called Zia. Some of you must have heard about the word Zia because Zia has been helping out our users in various ways across products in Zoho. And in Zoho Sheet, Zia will help you with automated recommendations and insights about your data. So when you just click on Zia, she'll give you a list of all those recommended charts, pivot tables, and insights about your data. You can just drag and drop those charts and tables into your spreadsheet and finish up reports in an instant. And if you have any questions or doubts about your data, you can even ask them and Zia will give you the answers. Secondly, we have data cleaning tool about which we'll be looking into elaborately in this session. So we'll move on to the third one that is the custom functions. So those Soho Sheet provides you with more than 350 functions by default. We do know that our users will have some unique business needs that might uh, uh, that might need some personalized functions. So that's why we introduced custom functions in Zoho Sheet, which is powered by Deluge. So Deluge is a programming language created by Zoho. We call it the programming language for non-programmers because its drag and drop interface is that easy to use. Next is Sparklines. Sparklines are nothing but in-cell graphs, which you can use to observe and analyze data trends or patterns right alongside your data. So instead of moving around and viewing your chart or graph separately, you can just view them right alongside your data in the cell. And we also introduced chart aggregation and three new chart types, that is histogram, Pareto, and word cloud as a part of this release. And one of the major changes we had done to Zoho Sheet as a part of this version is that we had revamped the user interface of Zoho Sheet completely. We have introduced a very clean and contextual user interface with a side panel that gives you options based on the features you are currently using. And finally, as a part of this release, Zoho Sheet integrated with Zapier and Zoho Flow so now you can create automated workflows across hundreds and thousands of other applications such as Zoho CRM, Trello, MailChimp, etc. So coming to the topic of today's session, why clean your data? So it is a fact that 88% of spreadsheets actually contain errors. When you are manually entering data or you're bringing in data from various sources, 
they are bound to have errors. These errors in data can lead to errors in results and finally errors in analysis, which will finally lead to erroneous conclusions. So how do you eliminate these errors? There are two methods you can use. One is manual and one is automated. So when it comes to manual data cleaning, there are some limitations such as it is time consuming and it is not accurate because you can miss out on some errors when you're, when you're manually cleaning your data. So in order to avoid that, we introduced automated data cleaning tool in Zoho Sheet. This tool helps you find and remove duplicate entries, inconsistencies in your data, especially in spellings and capitalization, and random missing values, all under a short period of time with high accuracy. So now we'll jump into the demonstration. I'll show you how the feature actually works inside the product. So this is the new interface of Zoho Sheet, where you can find the data cleaning tool under the data menu. So you can see that I have a sample data here. I'll be demonstrating how you can remove duplicate entries from your data first. So go to data, data cleaning, find duplicates. So now you can see that on the left side, on the left side, the duplicate records are being highlighted for me. And on the right, I have options which I can use to filter out and detect duplicate records. And I have four different actions I can use and take care of these records. So first, you'll have a summary of how many unique and duplicate records you have in your data. And next, you'll have a series of columns listed out for you so you can simply select the column you want based on which you want the duplicate records to be detected for example i have selected order id sales rep and item here so my duplicate records will be listed or highlighted for me based on these three columns alone or if you want uh, the duplicate records to be detected based on all the columns you can just simply select select all and uh, move forward Next up, Zoho Sheet also gives you the options to set the first row of your data set as the header or you can even remove that option. So here you can see that the column names changed accordingly. And on selecting, the first row is taken as the header and the column names are given contextually. And the second option is to include the first occurrence. So let's say you have, so let's say you do not want to remove the first occurrence of the data record you only want to remove the repeating records so for that so i'll just unselect this option so now you can see on the left that only the repeating records are being highlighted for me and the actions you perform will be based on these uh, options you have selected the third is to include hidden rows so let's say you have a filtered data set so in that case you can uh, you can select include hidden rows to detect duplicates in the data records that are actually not visible because of the filter applied in that particular data set. And finally, you can choose to match letter cases in your data too. So now that we have detected the duplicate records, what do we do with them? So Zoho Sheet gives you four different operations you can perform. First is delete. So delete, as it signifies, removes those data records from your data set. And apply style gives you an array of formatting options using which you can highlight your duplicate records in the data set. Third option is to move. So this option is similar to cut and paste where the duplicate records will be removed from your original data set and it will be placed in a new range or sheet as per your choice. So let's say you want them for a later reference. You do not want these duplicate records in your data set but you want them for a future reference. So you can simply remove them from the data set and place them somewhere else so you can view them later. And the fourth option is copy. So as, as it signifies, this option is similar to copy and paste where the duplicate records will not be removed from your data set, but they'll be simply copied and removed or pasted on another range for your reference. So now I'm just going to remove these duplicate records from my data. So I'll just click on delete and there we go. So you can use this option to remove duplicates or highlight duplicates in your data 
in a matter of seconds. Next, we'll move on to inconsistencies and missing values. So for that, I'll take this data, which is similar to the previous data we saw, with minor changes for uh, viewing or demonstrating inconsistencies. So here you can see a chart which shows the sum of units sold per item. And you can see that some items in this chart do not make any sense because of some spelling mistakes and here this one, this one is missing a space character. And these erroneous data are causing some errors in my chart too. So how do I get rid of them? Go to data, data cleaning, fix inconsistency. Select the column of your choice, let's say item. So on the left you can see that the selected column is being highlighted for your reference and on the right the words with several iterations are being listed so you can see them, the frequency of occurrence and finally, you have, you have the option to give a customized value which should, be, which should replace the current value in the cells. So I'll just click on replace and group and this will change the actual data in my sheet. So there we go. So now you can see that all the inconsistent data have been removed. The chart looks neat now and the erroneous data we had seen previously is all gone. Now we'll see another example. So let's take sales rep. So when we are dealing with a lot of names, we, get, we tend to confuse between the first and last names and sometimes we miss out the space character in between the first and last names. So in that case, this tool will help you correct all those errors in a matter of seconds. So I'm just going to check the custom value here if I'm okay with that so it looks fine so I'm just going to click on replace and group and that's it my data is all clean now moving on we have another option called fill missing values that will help you fill up blank or empty values in your data set so I'm going to choose the column units here you can see that in this column I have certain cells that are missing values so in order to prevent any errors during calculation or in errors in formulas, I'm just going to fill it with a value here. So Zoho Sheet gives you three different options using which you can fill uh, the blank cells or missing values in your data. First up, Zoho Sheet gives you the number of missing values in your data just for your reference, so you'll know how many cells you're going to fill up. So the first option is to fill these cells with the previous value in that particular column. The second option is to fill the blank cells using a custom value of your own. And the third option is to fill them with the most occurrence value in that particular column. So now I'm just going to fill those cells with the value zero. So I'm just going to type zero here and click on fill values. And on the left, you can see that the empty cells have been replaced with the value zero. So apart from these three options, the data cleaning tool in Zoho Sheet also has the ability to find unique values. So this option is similar to finding duplicate. The only difference is that it detects the unique records in your data set. The other options are all similar to how uh, finding duplicate works. So here you can see the number. We do not have any duplicates in the data, only unique values. And the final option is to find frequency. So this option gives you the complete summary of your data in a column. So you'll know all those items or all those values in your column, those which are supposed to be changed and their frequency of occurrence too. So if you want to edit any value, you can simply edit it from here itself instead of going to the data. So that's all about the data cleaning tool in Zoho Sheet. This is what one of a user had to say about it. The new data cleaning tool is a cool feature and I've used it a few times now. It's a real time saver. Thank you, John, for that wonderful feedback. So like I mentioned, this tool will help you save a lot of time cleaning your data and give you accurate results.
So if you have any questions or doubts about this feature, please let us know in the comments below and we'll definitely help you out. Please do try out this feature and give us your feedback. If you have any feedback about this session, you can also let us know. Thank you all for being a part of this webinar. I hope you all found this session helpful. If you have any specific feature in mind that you would like to see a webinar on, please do let us know in the comments below. See you all in the next webinar.